Unraveling, I'm leaning towards a guide to decisions and preferences. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's lesson where we're going to dive into a very interesting English phrase, I'm leaning towards. This expression is widely used in everyday conversations, and understanding it can really help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and look at some examples to clarify its usage in real-life contexts. I'm leaning towards is a phrase that expresses a preference or inclination towards a particular option among several choices. It's like saying you are somewhat more favorable to one possibility, but you haven't made a final decision yet. This phrase is very useful when you want to express that you are almost but not completely decided on something. In this section, we'll look at how to use I'm leaning towards in sentences and provide some clear examples to help you understand its practical application. 1. Making choices. When you're faced with options and you have a slight preference for one over the others. For instance, I'm leaning towards studying abroad next year. 2. Expressing opinions. It can also be used when sharing your opinion or preference about something not necessarily related to making a choice. Example, I'm leaning towards saying that this is the best movie of the year. Remember, using I'm leaning towards suggests that you're still open to other possibilities or arguments, which makes it a polite way to state your preference. When using I'm leaning towards, there are a few common mistakes to watch out for. Overcommitting. Don't use this phrase if you've already made up your mind. It's for situations where you're still considering your options. Using it in formal decisions. While it's great for everyday decisions and opinions, in very formal or business contexts, directly stating your choice or recommendation might be more appropriate. We hope this guide helps you understand and start using I'm leaning towards in your English conversations. Remember, it's all about expressing a slight preference or inclination towards something while still being somewhat undecided. Practice using it in different scenarios to become more comfortable and sound more like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next lesson.